guys, my name is Zoys Mark. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make one of these. Now, it may seem pretty simple from the outside. It may just look like a weird collection of iron blocks and it w within a circle, but that's not really the case. If I start putting stuff in here, as you can see, it's instantly struck with lightning. This is what I call a Tesla tower, and it's absolutely great for, like, keeping mobs away from your house, or, um, or it's just generally cool as a little aesthetic feature to, you know, when you, you can get rid of this little circle thing, and whenever one, anyone gets near this, they will be struck with lightning. So, I will be showing you how to build this today. Right, so what you want to do is, um, you want to... Just put a hole here. It can be one block or it can be two blocks. I like to have it two blocks down because then the redstone that I use is all nice and concealed. You want to put down a command block. If you don't know how to get a command block, you must be in a game where you have cheats available. If you're in a world where that is not available, all you have to do is open to LAN, change your game mode to creative, and allow cheats to on. You start a LAN world and boom, you're now on a world that has cheats enabled. So, and then to get a command block, in case any of you didn't know, is you just give your name, for my instance it's Mark Carlos, and then com command, oh that's three ends, underscore block. It used to be different in the old games, but now obviously with the new ID system it's quite different. So what, I'm, so what you're going to do is you're going to paste in the command I gave in the description. Now here is where it will be different. This will just say your name. The reason for that is is because basically this will be your name. This adds it as an exception. It won't strike you, but it will strike entities that go near it. Right, so now what you want to do is um, to make this automatic, to make it constantly target entities. What you want to do is you want to make a clock. Now, many people use the repeater clock. Sorry, my mic's getting in my mouth. But what many people do is they use the repeater clock where they do it like this and um, connect it by resonance and stuff. But that's very difficult and it's it's just not very nice and it's quite laggy on servers if you leave them running I, uh, so no oh, i accidentally destroyed this um so basically what you want to do uh, to make a clock that's actually pretty discreet and can be toggled is you want to place down you just want to place down a hopper and then make them connect to each other so they look like this. It may take you a couple tries to get this right, but as soon as you do, it'll be pretty good. So um, then what you want to do is you just want to drop an item in, and as you can see, they are now switching between the two. So what you want to do is you just want to place a redstone comparator, and then a redstone repeater in. Now what this is doing is it's basically made a clock um, that is, it, it's, it's pretty, it's not really that intensive on uh, your computer. So you can leave these idling, and they won't really, um, Damn, they won't really affect your speed. Let me just, uh, just do that. So, um, if you just... So now that's connected, so that's con constantly searching for entities. Now, if you've put your name in right, you shouldn't get struck. But if you do, you might want to check and see if you put your name in right. Let's see if this... Um, oh, I didn't put in the command. Um, so, yeah, you just put in the command. Um, you, this part here is just the coordinates. If you want this to strike a specific person with a specific um, coordinates, you might want to do that. Um, so we'll press done. So now it's underground. So because this is in an 8 block radius, well, I think I've lost <laughs> it already. Um, because this is in an 8 block radius, we're going to do a circle like this. So um, I'll be right back. I'll be right back with you guys. Right, so the so the tower is complete. Now, I've added this little decoration here. You don't really need to add this because this doesn't really affect how it works at all. It just adds a nice little aesthetic to it. Now, anything you put down, whether it be um, items on the floor or even stuff like mine carts and, and boats. So, boats, they also get targeted. And of course, NPCs or mobs, they also get targeted. So if you spawn in something like a guardian. But of course, if they go out of the radius, they will not be struck. But, um, yeah, you can spawn, like, say, slimes. This helps with slimes because it constantly targets them. So.
So, uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope that this helped you. This this is a really cool little thing you can add to your base and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you.